Hey everybody and welcome on back to Build One with Whip. Today is episode 156 and today we are starting off in our farming area of White Glen. We're going to be doing one more episode working on in this area. Last episode however we came through here and built up this super cool little inn outside of our city gates as well as building up this little traveling cart over here kind of parked up outside the gates Way didn't go through. Yes, that cart is way too big to make it through that gate. Maybe we're going to have to come back here and rethink how this guy's designed. Maybe that's why he's stuck out here. He actually can't get in this one. It's got to go around to the bigger, bigger, big, 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 big gate. That will be here eventually. <laughs> we'll get that guy here up pretty soon. But last episode, we built this guy up. It was super fun. Built up this cool trellisy bit right here that comes back to a little hidden garden area and a walkway down to the water going through our sunflower seed, our sunflower fields as well as our potato fields and all that cool stuff coming down here into this lush, lush little river basin. I am super happy with how this one's been turning out so far though. It's really cool being back in this environment, kind of working on everything as we're going through all of it. It's been really fun in here. So today we are gonna be starting off and building up another project in this little area. Another little one episode one. I was wondering where my bed was. I guess I forgot him there, but yeah. Today's episode, we are going to be working on building up a stables. And then next episode, we're going to be actually jumping over and planning out that wizard castle. So if you guys are hyped up for that one, let me know down in the comments below. Anything you guys think we really, really need to include inside of the wizard castle, wizard school, magic school, whatever we're calling it. I don't know. It's going to be a really big, cool, magical castle -y thing. Let me know down in the comments below. What type of castle should we go for? Really, really curious to hear what you guys got to say. I'm getting some kind of like Skyrim vibes of I don't know which the school was, but there's that mage school in the upper like northeast corner where you walk along this little narrow bridge and then you come into this big open area with like a magic well and things like that and a bunch of different classrooms kind of poking off into their own wings. I kind of want to do something along those lines. However, though, we got to focus on today's episode here first. And that being said, we got to go ahead and plan this guy out. So I thought that we could bring ourselves along the end of this pathway where it kind of abruptly ends off here into nothing. And I want to turn this lower little region in here into a form of a horse corral. So I wanted to go ahead and start with kind of, we're going to start with, um, hmm. Let's go ahead and give ourselves a little bit of space right here. We can go ahead and actually terraform this around a little bit if we need it. But this guy's going to be a little on the larger side. I wanted to make it kind of wider but smaller because I don't want it to dwarf the walls back there. So what we're going to be bringing in here is we're going to be starting with basically just a little five wide wall going into a three wide space. Then from here, we're basically, I wanted to go ahead and start creating some horse stalls. This will start to come together very, very quickly as you guys will see just kind of Play, uh, stick with me here as we kind of go through this one. So we're going to go through here. We're going to go ahead and bring this area up. We're going to definitely terraform that out so it's all in one level. I think that would make it a lot easier instead of having multiple layers of horses and things like that going throughout here. But yeah, so I want to go ahead and bring him around to here. Basically then come along this way, bringing this guy out by two blocks. And then we're going to basically go ahead and bring ourselves all the way back throughout here. And that's three in the middle. And then we can go ahead and bring this guy coming all the way back around. I hope it'll be a pretty cool look in here uh, for as far as how this thing's looking. Except for you guys know me, I hate long, straight, flat walls. So what we're going to do here is we're actually going to take this corner. We're going to go one, two, three, four, and we're going to bring it out to being five. I think that'll be five, right? That's the middle bit. Yep, cool. So we're going to do five right there. And then we're going to do one, two, three. So that's one, two, three, four four, five, and we're gonna basically go ahead and create a box right here. So we're gonna go ahead and kind of change up how this wall's working right here by creating a cool little box and making this part right here stick out a little bit more. I think it'll make it a bit more interesting than what it was before. And yep, we're doing some building on camera with shaders. Totally forgot I still had those on. I've been kind of running around, getting a lot of cool shots just from this valley area, trying to get inspired again by it. A good way for me that I find that I actually get inspired is by just running around the, my existing world seeing what I can find that I really, really like, taking some cool screenshots of it and kind of sharing it with people and getting their feedback on it. Like, wow, that part's really cool. Um, I know that's kind of using other people to get feedback on things, but I think that's okay. I think it's totally fair game to be able to do that. <laughs> okay, so this guy out here is gonna be a little bit of a shorter one. We're just gonna go with like a three high wall area. 
And then coming back to here, I believe I wanna go ahead and bring this guy up to being five wide for now. We're gonna go ahead and just kinda of test this out, bringing it up, seeing what it's gonna be looking like. And we'll take a look at this here in just a sec so you guys can see the general idea of everything going on here. We're trying to make this a mix of a style between what we're doing way, 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 way back when in White Glen, um, our farming city, and then also kind of modernizing it a little bit more to work with the city's and everything like that that we got going on there. Basically, I wanna be bringing in the stripped logs and things like that just to make it a little bit more interesting because one, I've fallen in love with those blocks so much that I wanna just use them the entire time. So, you know, we're gonna try and use them the entire time. Now, we're gonna be adding in a lot of stuff. I realized that I really, really like the stripped log blocks as long as I can find some way of incorporating planks with them. I think when it's just the stripped logs, it gets pretty boring, but overall pretty happy with this one. All right, so we're before I blab on here for too long we're gonna go ahead and get this little bit here finished up as far as the general shape of it and then that guy will come along here okay we got this whole barricade built up now it's looking pretty cool it's gonna be nighttime here in just a sec but yeah so give you guys a general idea of the size and scale of it without a roof on it we're actually gonna bring that lower part back there up a little bit taller but that's the general size of it let me go ahead and sleep through night Get a little bit more stuff on here. Maybe get this little front area built up here and then I'll be right back with y'all. All right guys, welcome on back. So I wanna go ahead and bring y'all in here so and show you kind of a little bit more about what we got going on here. So our first doorway is actually gonna be right in here and we're basically just gonna go ahead and do like this. That'll be our little doorway in here and this will get us onto the inside part right in here. And we can go ahead and break this guy down. A little bit of a heads up on the other parts I was working on in here was that I went ahead and on that area brought it up another three blocks high and added in some spruce logs on the corner and spruce planks on the sides. So that'll be kind of like our general idea of what we're looking at here. I do wanna go ahead and just kind of break this open for now so we can move around more easily. However, I'm thinking right throughout here, we can go ahead and add a doorway there, skip over two, add another doorway and skip over two and add another doorway. So we got these little bits right in here. Now on top of these guys, I wanted to go ahead and stack all of these up again to being three high so we can go ahead and come in here with this and then strip them down and it gives us that cool strip log texture making a little bit less br uh, dark of a color, a little bit less contrast than a way, because this is supposed to be a horse corral after all, the way that we can stop the horses from jumping over into each other's places is by adding some little fences in there. I didn't want to make the whole thing like big tall full blocks everywhere so I thought that'd be kind of a good mix for it. I do want to go ahead do I have any dirt around here? I feel like I didn't bring a dirt shulker box with me. Yeah, the one time you travel without a dirt, shul dirt shulker box, you actually need it really, really badly. Oh well. So I was thinking up here we could go ahead and do a little bit of a double wide bit going off the end of this guy. Maybe we go ahead and actually just stop there. there. We'll leave that there for now, but I was thinking we could go ahead and come in here, bringing this stuff all the way across, doing a bit of a flatter slope along here. We can go ahead to make this easier on ourselves. Let's go ahead and just enter pearl right up to the top right there, bringing this guy all the way across here. And this will be kind of our front entry area for the horses who are gonna be coming in. So there's gonna be a few stalls in here and we're gonna have a lot more horses running around in the general area. So I think it'll be pretty cool, I hope. There's, a, there's like, there's one horse in there, there's two more over there. And we basically need to go ahead and just gather them all up in here. We're gonna put a big fence around the area, a big stone wall, kind of like what we got going on there. I think it'd be pretty cool. Next thing though, while we're over here is I wanna show you guys kind of a little bit of how we detail up these wall bits. For starters, we're just gonna go ahead and, actually I do want those spruce fences. I'm gonna go ahead and just plop one under right on the bottom side of all of these. However, for this bit right here, what we're doing is basically just coming in here and making these corners look a little bit stronger by adding in a polished andesite every other block so it looks just a little bit more like toughened up and a little bit stronger and a little bit more like it can hold its own in here so we can basically go to all the different corners for our different shapes so we have if you think about it we have a two triangles right now or not triangles there's no triangles here uh we have two rectangles there we go and one square shape in here so we want to go ahead on all of these different corners for the different types of shapes and the different shapes that we have let's go ahead and stack these guys going all the way up to the top just to make it look a little bit stronger and this actually already helps give it a lot more shape and style to it so that's a really simple tip you guys can use another one you can use is actually taking stone brick and making these three blocks right there stone brick and then those three stone brick and it actually gives a really similar effect that's better for like more like castle walls and things like that but if you're just trying to make a stone house and make it look a little bit stronger than just stone everywhere 
This can be a great little tip for you right there. Next thing that I want to go ahead and show you guys here is what it's going to be looking like in these upper areas. So let's go ahead and just jump right back on up here. And then these little bits right here, we're going to start with actually just going ahead and removing. Hmm. Let's just go ahead and remove you for now. And then we're going to go ahead and remove that guy. And what we're going to do here is basically bring in a dark oak stair one behind that block right there. And then we're bringing in our slabs. And then we can go ahead and basically bring in our slabs going all the way along here. Bring in again the slabs all the way throughout here. Filling in that block with what would be a full block right there just because we can't do that half slab stone, half slab uh, dark oak wood in there to make it look super cool as much as I would love to, for that to be a feature. That's not really a possibility right now. I don't think there does even be a possible way to do that with how Minecraft code currently works. But yeah, so overall, this is pretty much what we want this front area looking like right there. And maybe we can come back along in here and just pop in a little bit of a window, throw in our spruce fence and grab an oak trap door and just use that guy's a little bit of a window covering right there to make it look a little bit more detailed. So now that we have that guy on, I'm basically gonna do a really similar roof up on this side right here, except the only difference is gonna be that one, we have these guys right here going like this, and then it's gonna be coming up into some stairs. So we're gonna do stairs right here, and then full blocks, that's not a full block, that'll be another stair. And then we can go ahead and do full block there and then do our slabs on top. This just kind of helps add a little bit of extra depth and difference in the styles that we got going along around here. So this is pretty much what I'm gonna be doing, filling in these walls like this. And I'll be back with you guys as soon as I got all the walls in or all the roofs in. I'll go ahead and do the one up there as well. It's going to be basically really similar to this guy. I'll be back with you. All right. I went ahead and got some grass so that we can start actually doing a little bit of the terraforming work around here. For now, we're basically I wanted to go ahead and bring you guys in adding a, by adding just a little bit of this area around that we can use to kind of work with as we're building this thing up. Uh, just doing a very, very brief kind of border to it so that it looks a little bit better. However, I do have all of the, the roofs in here, so it's looking pretty solid so far. We got a decent outline for what I want this general shape to be looking like and what I kind of want everything in this area to really be working with and kind of going for and all that stuff. So it's looking pretty solid. It's looking a little big and bulky, and I'm hoping by adding detail to it, we can go ahead and actually shrink this down and make it not seem so big and square and just kind of so obtrusive into the landscape area. So I want to start off by coming in here and throwing in a few oak doors throughout this area. We are going to go ahead and retexture this bit up here a little later on so it looks a little bit more interesting. However, up here, I did go ahead and add in a few little window areas for some air to kind of poke out in so it doesn't get super stinky inside. You gotta have some way for the air to get in and out. So I also wanted to go ahead and bring these guys in here. You can see I added a few little fence bits hanging down from up there as well. I don't have any on me right now, but I'd love to go ahead and bring in some glass panes up here, right there and right there. And then basically doing this on all the different sides where that kind of position is available. So we can go ahead and do one right there, I think would be the same height. And then we can go ahead and get these sides here as well. Can we hit that? Can we get that? Oh, it's gonna be so close. Yes, okay, perfect, there we go. <laughs> nice, exactly what we wanted. We're gonna lose those blocks though, but it's okay. Can we get this, can we get this one? No. For some reason we cannot get the angle here. Let's go ahead and just do this. Get you and get you. Oh, that was one too many. Let's clam our little stair tower right here and do another stair right up there. Place that guy back in and we're good to go. So I'll go ahead and get some glass panes in there soon. But I was thinking, ooh, wait, what if we came back in here and added like a little bit of like a brick fireplace to it? So like right up throughout this point, we can add in a little bit of a fireplace. Ooh, that sounds like a good idea. Let's go ahead and get some of that stuff. I did bring the brick over with me just in case I was like, maybe we can use this, maybe. Let's go ahead and right here, cool. So we can get these guys and that should be good. We shouldn't need much more than that, but I wanna go ahead and just do something pretty freaking simple back here. We can go ahead and do a similar design to what we we're doing over on the, whatchamacallit, the inn that we made last time. So, but here I wanna make it a little bit skinnier. I think that one was a little too fat for my liking as far as like how much space it really occupied. Uh, you can go ahead and close up since we're gonna basically bring this straight up throughout here. And I wanted to go ahead and just do something like this. Actually, what if instead of that, we brought it over about like right here, we can go ahead and break you. Uh, we brought it over and then brought him up and then we go ahead and bring in the full blocks right here. 
and bring that guy back and just kind of pushing it over just another little block or so and we can do maybe something like that make it a little bit more mob proof on the top there hmm what do we think about this guys what do we think about this one Ooh, i do like that i like that a lot okay this build is really starting to come together here already <laughs> i mean this really hasn't taken too long to get things ready uh next step though would probably be going ahead and bringing in a little bit of the texture variation stuff i don't have anything besides andesite on me and i do want to go ahead and bring in some diorite as well to bring in that full feel of everything that we we're doing before so let me go ahead and get some of that stuff in here and i'll go ahead and get that texture variation on guys and i'll be back with you all right everything on here is starting to look pretty completed as far as the building itself goes i do want to go ahead and grab in some where are they oak trap doors i feel like i have some more of these somewhere else do i really not am i really out of oak trap doors do I only, oh no, they're all in my inventory. That's why I thought I was out of them. Uh, but I wanted to go ahead and grab in some oak slat or oak trap doors right here and basically plop these out in the front of uh, these little areas. So we have a little bit more of a area for the horses to stay. They're all gonna be kind of in there for at least the ones who are over in the corral area. Then the rest are gonna be out moving around in their little free, free range areas so they can eat all the grass, everything that they could want in here. But yeah, overall, I think the house is looking pretty great through these pieces of grass here. It's looking pretty solid. Uh, I did go ahead and add in that texture variation that I was talking about, just bringing in some andesite and some diorite. I brought in some cobblestone walls or cobblestone stairs as well as little full blocks there to make it look a little bit more fortified along the bottom. So it's not just big flat straight walls. Back here, I kind of picture that'd be like an office area up in the top. Really, really liking this one so far. I need to go ahead and figure out what we're going to be doing on the inside, but you know, we might as well just leave this guy for now because we're never really going to complete it. Let's be honest here. <laughs> but anyways, what I want to focus on next was going ahead and bringing in the corral area. So we have this road right here and I want the road to actually basically start instantly curving back this way and coming right along here so that we can bring this guy all the way out throughout here and then it's gonna come over like uh, this. Now for the corral itself, I wanna give ourselves a little bit of a room in here, like a big amount of space that we can use to really work with. We're gonna obviously terraform this out, make it look a little bit better than it currently does. But for now, I wanted to go ahead and kind of start by just bringing in these different little bits right here. Maybe we can go ahead and start bringing everything in like this, bring ourselves back, one, two, three, one, two, and then just kind of working our way throughout, creating a big roundish ish uh, key, key uh, rephrasing on the ish right there. Uh, we don't want it to be super perfectly round. We just kind of want to make it work somewhat with the terrain that we have in here. Uh, working along a lot of the slopes that we have, but also making it a lot more interesting for ourselves here, making it just kind of more of a fun project. I kind of want to go ahead and bring it all the way into the wall there, but I feel like that would just be massive. So I actually think we're going to go ahead and leave space back along here for like a little bit of a skinnier field. So we're going to go ahead and bring this guy back in here, and this should be pretty good. Uh, can we line this guy up right like that? Perfect. I'll take it. <laughs> I think that'll be a pretty good size for some horses to run around in, for animals to romp and all that good stuff. I think we'll be able to get some good space in here. However, I do want to go ahead and kind of buff this out a little bit more right there, make it a little bit more smoothed out. Uh, these sheepies, we will be getting rid of them. Now for the actual shape of this guy, however, I want to go with that classic wall design I've been kind of doing all up around this whole area. So basically it starts with kind of starting at one end, throwing a stair on there, stacking up a few things and just kind of randomly plopping things up, making it taller, making it shorter, whatever you really want to do. There's no rhyme or reason. So we could go ahead and bring it back down there, instantly back up into a full block, kind of like that. And then maybe we do like one there, bring it right back up again. And then we could have this guy kind of dropping off down to here. The only key part is right here, we have to make sure that this whole thing, nobody can jump in and nobody can jump out unless you're going through the actual designated areas. So we want to make sure we do that. We will need to find some way to have like an opening inside of it as well. So what I'm going to start with doing here is basically just stacking this whole thing up. I'm going to go and get the wall design in for this whole side of things, making it look a little bit better. I'll go ahead and smooth out the grass in here as well. Maybe work on the outside terrain a little bit too. And then I'll be back with you guys and we can go ahead and add some detail into here. All right, welcome on back everybody. So I've been doing quite a bit of work since we last checked in. I got our roadway brought in down to here and I'm realizing now that I never placed our door back in. So 
Let's go ahead and place our door back in right there. There we go. That's looking a little bit more finished off. The house or the farm stables, something or another, is pretty much complete over there, which is really nice. The road also is extending down this way, kind of just working its way down here. And wow, this area just looks so much more finished off with just having the road through it instead of just that cobblestone wall. Speaking of the cobblestone wall, I did come through here and detail it up, adding in some andesite and some stone throughout the whole thing. And also came through and added some of these peonies as well as short turns and short ferns and tall ferns going throughout the whole place that being said the next part i wanted to bring you guys in for was right over here i do want to go ahead and make a little bit of like a ranch entryway sign i haven't terraformed the center part up at all yet but basically kind of where you see on those ranches where maybe this might be a little too tall that might be a little too tall let's go and lower this guy down so basically i want to have like a acacia stair right there and then go ahead and bring you up one and two and i'm using acacia here to kind of give a little bit of like a color pop to it so if we went ahead and did this guy and then that would meet up one right there in the middle so how's that look does that look better than doing this how's this look i think we might want to go with this one right here making it a little bit flatter and straighter throughout yeah also let's go ahead and change these stone bits out right here and actually bring in just some full blocks instead of having the stairs I think that'll help it be a little bit cleaner this all right with these two bits in here it's looking a little bit stronger but like i was saying though it's looking like we almost have like a bit of an asian feel going on here i'm okay with it but i think it's actually just like the color of the acacia that i have in here or the fact that i was using it for some asian styled stuff previously however what i want to do here to help make sure that our horses stay inside is i wanted to go ahead and create some sort of a little bit of a gate throughout here so i was thinking we could go ahead see i want to use trap doors that would be too high but i'm trying to think of a way that we where we can make this still look good but not have it be like super big and not super on an angle i kind of wish there's a way to make this one flat i guess what we could do here though is make it like this there's no way a horse can get through there no horses can walk through that small of a space so i guess we could do that and then when we're getting the horses in here we can kind of have them jump over the top so i guess that'll work out pretty well i do have quite a few saddles in my inventory and there are a few horses around here so i'm gonna work ahead i'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of work right now getting a few of these guys in here and it's not the most interesting stuff because basically i gotta jump on the horse a bunch like this i know i could use wheat and apples in the works I don't think I have any on me. He's shaking his head. He's like, I don't like this guy. I don't like this. I, I don't like him. I don't like him. Now he's like, hmm, maybe I like him. Maybe this whip guy isn't so bad. Nope, nope, still don't like him. Maybe, nope, still don't. Maybe now. I don't know if I like him. I still don't like the dude. Why does he keep jumping up on me? I keep saying no, but he keeps jumping up on my back, man. What is this guy doing? Why is he jumping up on me? Hmm, maybe I like him now. Maybe he's a good guy. He keeps jumping. Oh, he keeps jumping on me. So I like him now. Now we can go ahead and throw the saddle on. And look at that. Now we got a horse friend. <laughs> we got our first one there. All right. I'll tell you guys what. Let me go ahead and get a few more of these guys in here. I'm going to just let them roam around. Actually, this guy, you can be one of our first ones and you can live in the stables. You can, you can have your spot in the stables there. So we got one guy in here. He's good to go. Look at that. He's got even got a full saddle on him and everything. All right, guys, I've done about as much horse gathering as so I possibly can throughout here. And I think we're looking pretty good for what I want this area to be looking like kind of in general so far. We got one, two, three, four, and five horses in here. They're all looking pretty freaking awesome. And I also decided to go ahead and turn this area right here into a little bit of like a watering hole type thing. Sorry if there's any noise in the background. Koda's chewing on his water bottle or water bottle back there and it's kind <laughs> of... It's picking up a little bit. He loves water bottles. I don't know if any of you guys have dogs or anything like that uh, or pets, but oh my gosh, I feel like they all just love that crunch of the water bottle so much just that they chew on it for hours and hours once you give one to them until it's basically like not crunchy anymore. All right, beyond that though, I went ahead and added in that kind of derpy looking tree back there. I don't really know what I was thinking. I want, I grew up a custom oak tree and it looked like a, I let Coda win there again, guys. <laughs> All right, so this was used to be like a weird lollipop type tree. Hey, Mr. Horse, what, what do you think? What do you think of the tree? What do you think, Mr. Horse? Uh, but anyways, this used to be some weird like lollipop type tree. Anyways, I really do like this guy a lot. If we take a look from up above, you can actually get a... Ooh, our elytra's pretty low. I guess I got to go back to that gold farm. Ooh. But yeah, up here, it's got a good size and good shape to it. I actually really like this guy. I think it's looking pretty good for what I want to do so far with it. 
I think that's a pretty good point for getting kind of back into this farmland area. I want to go ahead and kind of bring some more fields and things right along here. Maybe some chopped down trees or something like that because they wouldn't want trees too close to the wall. So we'd obviously want to be chopping down the trees and making it look like they tried to cut it back a little bit here. So I'll tell you guys what, let me go ahead and find a comment or question of the day. We'll go ahead and end this episode off here. Also, I went ahead and added a few little of these allium guys in here, making a little bit of kind of like an interesting little flowery spot in here. That being said, I do want to go ahead and grab some of you guys. Maybe that'll be enough of them. And then we can go ahead and bring a few of these back in here. This is way more than I really needed to get. Uh, but I want to go ahead and just kind of add a little bit of color and life and stuff. You know, just get a little bit of variety in the flower colors back in here. Maybe do something right like there and maybe do like that guy. Yeah, that works out. That works out pretty well. All right, I'm going to go ahead and find that comment of the question today. I'll be back to y'all in just a few and we can go ahead and wrap this guy up. All right, everybody, welcome on back. So I got our commenter question of the day here handy. Looking at this guy here with the shaders on as our sun setting over the city walls is just looking so freaking cool. I really love this one, especially looking from in here. We slide through our little gateway right there and stand over on this side. Look at that view. That is just so awesome. I'm super happy with this one, and it's pretty simple to build too, so it's really something that you guys probably could have just watched this video and really captured how to build that guy over there too. It's really sticking to that style we used way back there, and I really, really like this one. So very happy with that. It's my field of view. It is down there. I don't know why that was there. Um, but yeah, overall, super happy with how this guy turned out. However, let's go ahead and get into our comment of the question of the day here. This one is one that I always love getting these types of comments because they make me start thinking about new ways of using a block. This one's coming in from Ramirez and he's saying, Flip, you can use the thing needed to respawn the Ender Dragon as decoration block. Example, using it for magical stuffs as it is full of magical energy. Great addition to wizardy stuff that you'll build in the future from Ralph John Ramirez. So thank you, dude, for that awesome comment because you got my brain going like crazy on this. So he's talking about the end crystal block, the one that you see spawned on top of the ender dragon obsidian pillars. It'll also, you need four of them to respawn the ender dragon. So very, very cool stuff. And they are super, super magical looking because it's a floating orb. There's no other orb type thing in Minecraft. So it really brings in a new block that we've never had access to before and a new shape of a block. And I think for the wizard stuff over there, it could be super cool. There's one problem. There's one catch to these guys. They are extremely explosive. If you touch it at all, if you move it at all, if you do anything with the block at all, it explodes. So I really love the idea of using them. I think we can go ahead and find some really creative ways of using the block, but something to be aware of if you guys want to be using these as like on your own or on your own stuff, doing your own things, they explode. They explode a lot. Look at this view though. Oh my gosh, that's so freaking cool looking. <laughs> I love this. I love this place so much. It's been really cool coming back here. I am ready though. I am ready. Next episode, we are going to be starting off our wizard stuff. And this, this view right here is just perfect. Great way to end off the episode. But yeah, let me know down in the comments below if you guys have any other ideas of different blocks that you can, you've been using in the game. Kind of weird ways to use them. Some way we can use some more magically stuff with certain blocks. Maybe stained glass, different ways to use it. Let me know down in the comments below. I'm really curious to hear what other ideas you guys have on this stuff. Anyways, please hit that like button if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you're loving this sunset right here. And I will catch you on the flip side. <laughs>